Autodesk helps customers design better products by enabling them to create digital models and digital workflows that can be used to experience ideas before they're real and improve the way products look, perform, and are used in the real world. How can we help create designs that are cost-effective, safe, and reliable while increasing bottom line and shortening time to market? How are design engineers facing real-world decisions and challenges with Autodesk simulation tools? Let's see how we can apply Autodesk simulation to a few theoretical design scenarios and discover why simulation is an invaluable asset to have during the design process. Thermal testing is typically a very expensive and time-consuming process. Let's leverage Al Gore Simulation's thermal analysis capabilities to create a safe design up front. I want to predict the maximum temperature of the handle on my cooking tongs if the consumer leaves the tongs in a wood fire for 10 minutes. I don't want my handle temperature to exceed 110 degrees. I'm going to give you four material selections. Decide which pass the temperature safety criteria and which fail. Besides building each design, the only way to know is to predict the thermal performance using simulation. The plot here shows the peak handle temperature versus time. This is called a transient thermal analysis since we're predicting behavior over time. Recall the criteria for safety was for the handle temperature to be below 110 degrees after 10 minutes. You can see this criteria represented by the red dashed lines. The oak and brass materials both pass. The plastic and aluminum choices do not. And since this is all done in a virtual environment, I can evaluate even more options without incurring the cost of building additional physical prototypes. Based on our simulation results, we can rule out two of the materials and conclude that two are viable. We also can go back to our geometry and change thicknesses to arrive at a safe design using any one of these materials. It's all about having this information up front so the final design works safely the first time, without the need to build physical models and perform costly thermal testing on each version, on each material that we want to offer to our consumers. The biggest driver to improve the design process is reducing cost. Remember that much of the final cost of a product is determined by the decisions engineering makes during the design phase. 73% of best-in-class manufacturers use digital prototypes in their design process to predict product performance. Analyzing the product behavior earlier with simulation is how you know you're making the best decisions, way before you need to build physical prototypes. Building and testing too many physical prototypes can adversely impact time to market and cost. A recent Aberdeen report found that the industry average is 6.9 prototypes per design. So think about this. How many prototypes do you build? When in the design process are the prototypes constructed and tested? And how much can you change the design based on the results of those prototypes? These examples show taking results from simulation to make good designs. Simulation provides predicted performance up front in the design process, allowing us to make informed choices for materials and geometry. Armed with this information, we expect designers to be able to save money, ensure safety, and meet product quality specifications. You can augment your design process and realize true ROI on these tools.